Kitty, what are we going to do today? This is our new rooster. Probably should have did this inside the chicken coop. Are you a picky eater too? Hi, my name is Bilky Sadar. This is my new world. I guess we're gonna have to catch a rooster. I'll videotape while you try, but no. you're gonna need my help. <laughs> and Here all he of a is. <laughs> and all of a sudden we became full on accidental chicken farmers. We have our first rooster. This is Bilky Sadar. Look at Bilky Sadar. Very pretty boy. His father is incredibly beautiful. So, he's about three months old. Yeah. And we're gonna go meet his, he's gonna go meet his ladies now. He's like pretty content just being cuddled right now, I think. That's good. Mm -hmm. You want to see these chickens? They're very handsome. You get a little something on your face. Yeah. She, yeah. Is that a man? Actually, cool if the rooster has like full rain. Hmm. Yeah. In the yard. Yeah. So we put him in the chicken coop, and he was pretty scared. He was kind of hiding under the chicken house itself, and then he kept trying to fly over the fence, and he's kind of getting stuck. It's kind of a tight area, so we have to close that off. And now we're just letting him roam around the yard. Update on the new rooster. He, I think we've had him for about five days now and 
He won't stay in the coop. He's pretty nervous about the hens. He kind of, he just flies out every morning first thing. So he is just by himself in the yard all the time. And so last night we came home after dark and, and he was under the tarp here <laughs> on the wood pile. We're just trying to hold him a lot and you know, make him comfortable and like us and so that he's not a mean rooster. <laughs> I think I just heard a Swainson's thrush. That's our favorite bird. <gasps> I totally did. <laughs> Greg's gonna be so excited. The Swainson's thrush, they have such a cool call. I'll try and capture it. <laughs> Oh, that's him. I hope that the phone is picking this up right now. Oh, they have the best call ever. I'm going to be doing some maintenance on the electric fence. We've got a ton of plants growing up underneath it, so I'm just going to go down there and trim everything back. You can see there's a ton of vegetation along the fence. So... I'm going to start cutting it all back. Ended up using the lawnmower for as much as I could. It was a lot easier than using a knife and doing it all by hand. There's some areas where it was not very accessible for the lawnmower, so I did those ones by hand. Well, this is where I'm going to wrap up the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.